So today what we're going to do is go ahead and open up our Photoshop. You guys have to download the photo in the Unit 5 folder that says Edit Portrait. It's another photo of my cousin, my little cousin that we've been working with. And it looks like this. It's this photo right here. It might come up sideways for you guys because I uploaded it um, horizontally, but just go ahead and rotate it. You guys can use your transformation tool. You can use your crop tool. Crop will allow you to rotate it if you just rotate um, at the bottom. So you just drag and twist. So I'm going to keep it. I'm actually going to crop it a little bit. And this time I'm not going to make him centered. I'm going to actually leave him a little off to the side. And then I'm going to press done. So there's a few things that are different with this project than the last project, although they are very similar with using layer masks. Um, we're going to do two things a little bit different. The first thing that's different is we're going to click on the square that has um, a little plus sign in it and we're going to use a group. So I'm going to teach you guys how to group layers. So in the future if you're ever working on layers and you have so many and you want to just kind of organize them better you can group them together so that they're a little bit more ordered. So I just named the group the dodge and burn group. I'm going to go ahead and press Oops, I don't want a layer. I'm going to hold down so that doesn't happen. And I'm going to open up an adjustment layer. We've used brightness and contrast. We've used hue saturation. And now we're going to use the word levels. So it's very similar to brightness and contrast. The difference is, is that there's a gray tone in the middle too. So you can change your gray tones. That's going to be helpful for the future. Um, but in this specific example, we're actually going to take the white dial from the right side and we're going to drag it to the center so that it brightens up really bright our photo. So it looks exaggerated, but that's okay. That's what we want. Once we have it in the area that we like, we're going to double tap or just tap on the word levels. And we're going to change the name to the word dodge because this is going to be our dodge tool. Dodge just means brighten in the Photoshop world. And then we're going to do that one more time. We're going to hold down the square with the plus sign. We're going to add an adjustment layer. We're going to go to the word levels. And we're going to bring, this time we're going to bring the black circle to the center. And we're going to darken it. And we're going to click on the word levels. And this one is going to be our burn layer. Burn in Photoshop world just means darken. So now I'm going to go to the layer mask that we created for Dodge. I'm going to make sure the layer mask is highlighted. And just like our last project, I'm going to switch my black color to be on top. I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and I'm going to tap on the photo and I'm going to do the same thing for the burn. I'm going to make my color black, use the paint bucket, make sure I'm selected on the layer mask for burn and I'm going to tap on the photo. So this brings our photo back to its original state. We have burn. We have black on the burn layer mask. We have black on the dodge layer mask. And just like your last project, you're going to use the paintbrush to reveal any of... Um, we'll start with dodge, actually. So I have to make sure I'm on the layer mask. And I'm going to reveal all of that light that we just used. So this is a very wide brush. I could change the size. I could also change the opacity and the hardness, so you guys know how to do that. And I'm just going to brighten up 
all of the areas that have a highlight. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my dodge tool. If it's too light, like that's too light for his face, I can go back, I can change the opacity to something much lower. And I'm gonna re go over, and just brighten up subtly. The same thing on the burn one. I'm gonna select the burn tool, make it a little brighter, or not brighter, but I'm gonna change the hardness and the opacity is gonna be in the middle. And this is gonna darken my shadows. So if I wanted to be really specific and only get the shadows, I could zoom in, and do that. Um, for this example, I'm just going over all of it so that you guys can see the contrast that it creates. I could also do the same thing in the background if I really want. Maybe I want his jeans to be darker. Maybe I want the background of the trees to be darker. I'm going to try not to get too close to him. And that's basically how the tools work. Like I said, it's not very different from our last project. Um, but I did want you guys to know how to use the dodge and burn. Since we've just completed something similar, I'm only asking that you guys do one original photo. So you're going to do the practice photo and one original photo. Um, this shouldn't take you longer than 30 minutes. Um, so we're going to have it due by Friday at the end of school. So that everyone has at least one class period to work on it. All right, good luck, and I will answer any questions that you guys have. Um, just go ahead and ask. Oh, also, you guys know how to save it by now, so this is like our sixth project. You're going to save it and upload it to the folder. The folder that you guys are going to be using for this one for submission, um, it says on the right side of your assignments the submission folder is called unit six using dodge and burn practice submission all right good luck